There we go. Okay. So remember, you pace yourself. All right. Adjust weight at any time. Okay. Also, pace wise, stay with me or slower. All right. If you need water, drink. And let's get started. Down to chair and 
back for two. You're pushing your hips back, you're keeping your chest tall. Down for two, and up for two. And four in both ways. Five. Go deep if you can. Slow up your toes. Number nine, grab back over chest. Hips 
back, head chest. Bend and stand. Bend, squat. Bend, stand, one more. Bend, you squat. You bend and you stand. Good job, all right. Now I'm just gonna play three regular bend legs. Three to one count. Each shoulder, here we go. So it's down, two, three, and up. Slow and control. Looking at that back side of the body. Down, two, three, press up to the heels. Down, two, three, up. Five, two, three, up. Six, two, three, up. Seven, two, three, up. Eight, two, three, up. Nine. We got one more. And ten, two, three, and up. Good job. Let's put those weights down for a second. Next one we'll do with the squats, the heels elevated, working more the front front, the upper leg, the quad. If you do not want to elevate your heels, you do not have to, you can keep the bottom on the floor. If you're going to use it, put the weights on the floor. Grab the weights that you're going to have in your hands. Stretch those two points up there nice and safely. You're going to push those heads back and then keep your chest up. Then we're going to two count. There we go. So we're going to go down. And up. Push your hips back. Chest is tall. Down two. Up two. Four. Up. Up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Two two. And now, come on, bring it down and just pulse. No pulses, halfway down. Keep that chest up, hips back. Five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Right in to sailors. Take it down, up, two, three. Watch your form here. Five, six. Seven, eight, so deep as you can. Nine, one more. And ten, good job. Step down. Bring those weights down. Grab a drink if you need. Moving on. I think you got another leg. Yes, we do. So, we're just going to do regular squats. Either holding the dumbbells at your side, at the shoulders, or down in front. Whatever it is good for you, okay? Just a regular squat, feet without shoulder width. Again, we're going to push your hips back. And this one, the count is down halfway. There we go. So it's down, half, down, and up. Down, half, down, up. Down, half, down, and up. Keep that chest nice and tall. Half, down, up. Number five, the hips are pushing back. You need to squat down. Six, your chest is tall. Seven. There's eight, half, down, up, two more. Last one here. Good job, good job. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up one heavier dumbbell. Hold it at the chest. We're going to do like a side and a back step. I'm starting the leg. I'm going to angle back and squat. Now we're going to back to the front and stand. Then we're going to go to the left. Come back and stand, okay? I want your angle stepping back with that foot. 
nice and squat. Here we go. Back the back right. Bring it center. And go back left. Bring it center. We're stepping back at an angle. Turn the body as you go. Number three. Go deep if you can. Keep that chest tall. Push those hips back as you squat down. We're set five. Nice and straight back. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Two more sets. Nice and straight. Our chest. Last set right here. Good job, good job, all right. Bring our weight down. Now we're going to go into a curtsy. Working that glute. We're still on the right side. We're going to use one dumbbell. And I'm just going to bring that chest. Now if you want to bring it down in front, you can. Whatever is comfortable for you, okay? Now remember, we're still on the right. So we're curtsy back with that right foot. Weight on the left. Hips front. Drop back out. So nice and deep, just like you got my foot, working out that foot. Focus on what you're using. Feel it? Use it. So down just a little bit. So nice and deep if you can. We got three more. Weight is on that left side. Tall chest, hips front. We're going to do one more. Good job. Now we'll put that weight down in front of you with a soft knee. Now we'll take that right foot back, body weight only, like a start, like a little track. And you're just coming up on that toe. You're not leaving the floor. So come on back, and we're going to lift up. Go deep on that line, keep that knee bent. Come up. All the way to that left side. Lift. Chest is tall. Six more. Good low, good low. Two more. Good job. Shake out that left leg. Grab your weight again. Left curtsy lunge, nice and deep. Take your time. Here we go. Left lunge. Back up. Shifting that weight to the right leg. Chest is tall. Breathe for me. Put your man on there if you can. 
for the back for two counts. Contract the lats and pull up for two counts. Focus on it. Use it. Use that back. Back two. Up two. Here's number five. Breathe and up. Number six. Slow it down a little bit. And up. Here's number seven. Gotta breathe. Number eight. And up. Here's number nine. Up two count, change your back. Number ten. And up, two more. Control that down. Now control the up. Give me one more. Just back two. And up to your wrist. Bring that weight down to your lats. Roll yourself up. Place that weight on the floor. Either your hands on the bench or above the knees and press up to standing. Sit down. So watch the break. You have a break if you need. Okay, now. Let's see what we got left here. We're in the alternating rear thighs, working the back of the shoulder. So two dumbbells. Now all the way right to left. See about shoulder distance. I'm going to have your hands with the hips forward a little bit. Make that back nice and flat, chest is open. All right, soft knee. Then go on the right side first. Out for two. Bring it down. Now the left. I want you to think about lifting with the back of that shoulder, keeping you on the left. So contract that back of the shoulder a little bit and lift to the side with control. Elbow is soft. Here's number four. Bring it down. Now left. Here's number five. And left. Control that down. Number six. Just go let it drop. Left. And down. Number seven. And left. Number eight. Soft elbow. Flat back. Open chest. Nice tight core. Number nine. Number ten. Two more sets. There's eleven. Back of the shoulder. And there's number twelve. Good job. Let's roll up. Now we're going to move to the front of the shoulder, working with the front raise. Both arms together, again, soft elbow, just as straight. Up two, and down for two. Again, control that down, just don't let it drop. Control it. I want two counts up, I want two counts down. Contract that shoulder and lift, and down. Number five, focus on what you're using. Feel it. Use it. Number seven. Light grip on that dumbbell. Eight. Coming up to shoulder height. There's nine. There's ten. Got two more. There's eleven. And twelve. Good job. All right, now. Alternating hinge roll. Work in the back again. We're going to alternate right and left. Two dumbbells. Feet are shorter than the bend of the knee. Again, you're going to hinge forward a little bit at the hip. Back is flat, your chest is open. Keep those arms close to your side. Palms facing in. We're going to use the right side of the back to roll up. And then we'll do it on the left side. So here we go. It's up for two. And we're going to bring it down for two. Now left. Focus on that side of your back. Let it do the work. It's right. Down. Down. It's left. Down. Down. Put that shoulder base fighting over towards the spine as you go straight up with that elbow. 
We'll do a three one count. Arms down by your sides, palms in. Use the bicep to lift that weight. Come back. Three counts. Up, two, three. Bring it down and just stop. Up, two, three. Bring it down and stop. Up, two, three. Down and stop. Five, two, three. Down and stop. Six, two, three. Down and stop. Seven. Focus. Right leg on the dumbbell. Eight. Two. Three. Down and stop. Nine. Ten. Two more. Up. Two. Three. Down and stop. Up. Two. Three. Down and stop. Okay, now going to sweep the curls. Alternating. First the right, then the left. Start with the palms in as you bring that right arm up to the shoulder. Rotate that palm up. Rotating back in as you come down. Here we go. Two, two. Up two. Down two. Now the left. Keep your body still as the bicep you move. Don't sway from side to side. Stay still facing front. Just use that bicep, isolate it. Down two. Up on the right. Down for two. Two. Up. Down. Down. Go up. Squeeze. Down. Down. Go up. Squeeze. Down. Down. Number five. And down. Go up. And down. Really squeeze that bicep at the top of that curl. Breathe. Number seven. And one more set. Number eight. Good job. Bring those weights down. Bring that neck to the floor. Finish up with some push ups. Chest, shoulder, a little bit of the tricep. Okay? You can do your push ups on toes, being a little harder, or you can do them on the knees. If you're doing knees, I want you on the top of your kneecap, not the center, okay? We're going to start with the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Two, two pounds. Down two. Up two. Down two. Up two. Down for two, up for two. Number four, and up. Number five, and up. Number six, up. Number seven, breathe. Number eight, and up. Number nine, and up. And number ten. And up. Uh, I want you to sit back on your heels, long arms in front, a little bit of a stretch. Coming back up, this time left hand is the shoulder, right hand above the shoulder. Staggered stance the hands, two, two count, down two, up two, down, and up. Bring that chest to the floor. You're looking straight down on the floor, keeping that head and neck in line with that spine. You're not dropping that head or your nose. Number six. And up. Number seven. All the way up. Number eight. Two more. Here's nine. And here's ten. Again, sit back on your heels. No arms in front. Little stretch. Come back up this time. Left hand above the shoulder. Right hand underneath the shoulder. Down and up. Two and up. There's three. Four. Breathe. Five. Don't drop that head. Six. High core. Seven. Chest to the floor. Eight. Two more. You're done. Nine and ten. Yes. Woo. Back on those heels. Long arms in front. Let's take a 
feet on that mat. Put your legs out in front of you. You're going to press the back of the legs against the floor. You're going to sit up nice and tall. A little bit of a stretch here. Back the legs against the floor. Take a deep breath up. Lift your ribs. Exhale and hinge forward. Coming down, reaching toes, calves, ankles, whatever you can reach. Hold there. Breathe. Try to keep the back of the legs against the floor if you can, as best as you can. Breathe. Okay, release. Sit back up. One more time. Big inhale. Lift your ribs, exhale and hinge forward, coming down and hold. Nice stretch the back of the leg, lower back. Good job, release. Take right leg, cross over left, pull them in. Hinge forward the hip, come down and hold. Sit back up, switch those legs out. Hinge forward and hold. Sit back up, bring the legs out in front. Sit back on that tailbone. Take your hands out as wide as you can get them. Point the fingers away. Look up at the ceiling. Put those arms out nice and wide. Put the stretch ring down the toe into those arms, across the chest. Breathe. Look straight up. Okay, sit up. This time, bring your hands directly behind you. Get them as close as you can together. Point the fingers away. Kind of lean back a little bit. Look up towards the ceiling. This time, you're going to feel a little bit more in front of the shoulder and the chest. Breathe. Okay, sit back up. Swing your legs behind you. On those hands and knees. Bring your feet about shoulder distance. Push your heels back onto your seat into nice child's pose. Bring that upper body down towards the floor. Hold. Okay, come back up onto those knees. Tuck both your toes under. Make sure your feet are shoulder distance. Tuck your toes underneath you. Walk your hands in a little bit. You're going to push up through your toes. Right here, gets all the way up to the ceiling into a downward dog. So push up. Upper body comes towards the legs. Hold. Soften those knees. Walk your hands all the way up to your feet. Stay bent over. Keep the knees soft and let the upper body just totally relax. Neck, shoulders, arms, totally relax. Okay, soften the knees a little more. Grab yourself up slowly. Swing your shoulders back, set your shoulder blades down, put your arms relaxed. Right hand comes back behind between the shoulder blades. Grab right that right elbow, pull it in and down towards your head as you look straight ahead. Nice twice up stretch. Step out with that left foot a little bit. Give you a bend over to the left and forward. Now take your right, right elbow to the left corner of the room. Hold. Breathe. Bring that elbow back to the center. Bring your body center. Switch those arms. Grab that left elbow. Pull it in and down to your head as close as you can, looking forward. Then we'll bend over to the right, over there. Now take the left elbow only to the right corner of the room. Nice stretch on the left side of that back. Breathe. Bring that elbow back. Bring your body center. Left arm comes all the way down, right arm halfway. Bring it around in front, grab above the elbow, pull it in and down to your chest as close as you can get it. Your shoulder should be relaxed, not here, but here. Turn it up to your right wall. Now, with your left hand, pull that arm towards the left a little more if you can. Look center, release that arm, shake it out, grab the shoulder. Left arm comes across, grab the right elbow, pull in and down to that chest, nice and close. Shoulders relaxed, look to your left. 
Okay, with our right hands, have that left arm to the right a little bit. Breathe. Okay, look center. Release that arm, shake it out, one shoulder. Bring your hands back onto your glutes. Hold the elbows together as close as you can. Nice tall chest. Breathe. Relax. One more time, put those elbows together. Hold and breathe. And relax. Take a deep breath up. And exhale. Yay, you did it. Good job. 